All right, she pulled. Um, yeah, there's no sound. We can't do that. We're gonna have sound. There we go. Um, yeah, so this is going to be the last tier list of the uh, last origin, and it's going to be AGS. So uh, before I do anything, three disclaimer. First, this is my personal opinion. You may not like it. You don't have to agree with it. I don't care. Second, um, this is not final, meaning that any you know developer want to do buff or debuff enemy uh, units, it's going to change. You know, meta shifts, always shifting. Uh, third, you know, do your own research. You know, find out which one is better, which one is like. You don't have to follow what tier list says has to say. Just do your own research before you use it. Okay. All right. That has got all the way through um, the reason I separate the AGS is because obtaining AGS is quite different than the uh, obtaining the biroid which which is biroid you just farm the dungeon and it's based on the drop whereas AGS the most easiest way obtain them is doing a research and the doing a research takes lots of resource and the uh, time so it's not very readily available for newbies uh like old player has it just has it like every one of them but you know new player won't won't get these until very late game it's pretty much well not late middle game pretty much but if you consistently invest on it you can get them to the all the way through all right all right okay and then i'll tell you how many uh, i won't actually tell you how many you have to get them because once you reach the certain research level you can get them anytime you want as long as you have resources so it's pointless if you want one get one like there's no reason to tell you how many you need anyway all right so all right starting from the attacker uh, I think I gotta start with the heavy Tyrant is, it's not quite B rank, A rank. It's starting to go lower, but it's a decent, right? Um, it's a decent attacker for heavy. You know, it does the multiple AOEs and, you know, fire damage. Um, it does lots of buff to itself, but, you know, it has even counter. Well, not doesn't have a counter, but... It's decent attacker for heavy, but it's starting to go lower and lower since we're getting better units on the other types of units tier. Um, but overall, uh, it's a solid pick. It's a solid single target, multi target if you set it up correctly and does fire damage too. So I, I would say um, the Tyrant is A tier. All right, next. The flying. Uh, I got. I guess I have to do the uh, uh, Seljuk. Um, I would like to put her into the A rank, but the problem is still not there yet. So a lot of Aegis kind of mimics the uh, enemies, um, and this is the one of the enemies that does the AOE. And then do a, a roll attacker in the very front. Um, pretty good. Uh, you have a unique item that gets to the uh, makes it this unit go really fast in terms of the uh, how when it can attack. The problem with the Seljuk is that it doesn't buff anyone. You have to use it as the uh, pure solid attacker by itself. But the AOE is just doesn't cover the whole area whereas some other unit that can cover the whole area which is just slightly better so and it's also the heavy it makes it really slow um i would like to put her in the a rank but maybe an ss rank but for now i think it's a b rank um if you're going to use the single target you're going to use tyrant if you're going to use aoe uh tyrant covers it better so it's kind of iffy um, however 
and also there are other unit that does better than this on the uh, Byroy, so it's hard to put her in the uh, put the Selzuk on the A rank, in personal opinion. Anyway, uh, let's go. Uh, next one is a flying unit attacker. I would like to put her in the op rank, but the problem is to use her fully, like full potential. You need to make her. You need to bring a rare or any wet debuffer. And that is the only constraint on her, basically, to going a op. Any op unit, like you know, by solo, they can do a lot better. Um, it's just that in order to fully use her, you need to kind of use the wet, and it's really hard to do that without bringing a rare. And rare is really uh, very vulnerable character putting in. So, I mean, she is using on the, uh, uh, what is it, Endless War and then Toy team as well. Uh, pretty well decent, but it, it just slightly lacking for the OP tier. But definitely uh, great units. Um, yeah. Uh, next one is, I think, what's, what's next one? Yeah, Rook. This is really I want to put in the uh, I like the rogue, but it's only a B tier. Um, I, it got multiple buff itself. Problem is all like same thing as Seljuk. It just kind of buff itself. Doesn't buff units around it that much, and it does electric damage, but it's kind of not useful to buy user itself yeah i mean it's a decent unit it, it's just that it doesn't cut into the a tier you can keep using it uh, it's solo unit decent solo unit but doesn't go well with other synergy with the other team so i would say it belongs to b tier until it gets a buff or something but for now i think that's a b tier all right, Stinger, uh, great unit, like great unit. Uh, if it goes to, if it gets to like um, S rank, it will bypass to A tier because it's a solid fire unit, uh, fire attacker unit for our A rank unit, especially. Uh, there are not many other options, uh, but it only buffs itself, it's only A tier, so it only resides in the B tier. Alright, so moving on to the uh, the uh, light attacker. Line Eater is actually A tier. So it has SS um, upgrade and then you can actually use with, with the uh, other um, unit, other Byroid actually, especially uh, uh, yeah. So you can uh, support the Spartans, or she can, it can support the uh, the Maris team, which is the uh, st uh, steel line. And then it can be also used in the Byroid or AGS. So it kind of goes back and forth between the witch team, and it, it does have like a, a shield effect as well. So solid A tier. You know, you won't regret using it uh, in a team and. It does not do AOE, but you know, solid tier for supporting attack. Uh, as long as, yeah, it does support attack. Yeah, so solid A tier. Uh, moving to shade. <sighs> Same thing as rogue. I really like to be in A tier, but uh, it just bypassed the B tier pretty much because of recent update. The problem is the it does the fire if I it does fire damage and it force it to Yeah, it, it's only a B tier because it only works by itself. So it's almost become used to be uh, even worse actually out of putting the trash, but it now works as like a just stinger upgraded version. Uh, it does 
evasion. Both of them does evasion, so both of them does fire damage. Uh, it, this one has more buff, so it's kind of B tier. I wish it was better. Could go in the A tier maybe, but doesn't buff in anyone else, but just do itself. All right. Next one is Spartan Boomer. Um, I'm gonna do this all three of them in a one sweep. So you got a Spartan series, which is Spartan Boomer, uh, Spartan Assault, which is the support, light support, and Spartan uh, Captain. That was Captain. Yeah, this is Assault. They are all Spartan series and they're all B rank. The problem with the Spartan uh, group is that you have to put them in together. You can't not use individually. You have to use them together. Otherwise, this unit completely has no meaning. So, it just really bypass the trash because if you actually put them in three together, they're really, really good at what they're supposed to doing. So, you know, you know, use them in a once, all together three like. They're fantastic if you use them, if you can use them all three at the same team. But otherwise, they're completely trash. So, they're also they're easy to get. They're only A and uh, B rank, and you can upgrade at that. And uh, their upgrade doesn't cost as much as a Viroid. It doesn't need an affection requirement as well. So, yeah, decent B tier only works together. Alright, moving to the uh, tank. Uh, stronghold definitely a tier um, it acts like um, in the biroid uh, bloody panther um, it's really high defense high uh, HP unit and then it also reduces enemy AP so it's a fantastic uh, tank unit uh, as good as the bloody panther so it's a solid AP and there's nothing I much I can say about it all right, next one is Gigantes, uh, which is B8 uh, S tier. I I don't think no one will like this one, but trash, complete trash. I I just can't use it. The range is bad. It can't tank that well, and also it's very slow. So this is another problem with the uh, Gigantes being a uh, attacker tank. It, it tried to do both attacking and tanking at the same time. And it just does not work. You have to be either fully committed to attacking or fully committed to tanking. There's no idle way you can build this one. And you can't mix building it. So you have to use it as attacker. If you're gonna use it as attacker, its range is too short to use. Um, it's, I, does does it even increase the range? No, it doesn't even increase the range. So it, it, it's also expensive because being a heavy, so it's completely trash in my opinion. Um, you shouldn't you actually use it, personally speaking. All right, moving to the fortress. Ah, uh, I would love to put in a B tier. I would love to in a B tier. It it just that fortress, where is it? Acts like it, it's a decent tank, but you have to make it wait. A tank that has to wait makes no sense. It it, it it's either you know tank everything. In a one as the round started or doesn't a tank that has to wait it's kind of useless and it consumes your uh, OS slot so why would I use that right it, it, it doesn't cover that much on the AOE uh, it just use a stronghold just use someone else if there are many other bio the tanks that can do better than fortress so it's uh, if he you don't have to make it so that's about that uh, flying Abastros I really want to put in the A rank I, 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 I just don't understand the reason why people don't like Abastros 
personally speaking, I I I would put it in the A tank. That, that's my personal opinion. This is highly subjective in my personal opinion. But if you can actually use it as a tank, not defense, just tank. It evasion tank especially. Uh, you can use a bunch of items, make it really tank well. You know, high evasion, it has automatic shields to everyone. And then you can wait her turn and then give everyone a shield too. I like it's pretty good. Uh, it only supports the flying attacker and the support, but it's already flying team, so it's pretty good. It does a lot of buff as well. So it, it, it kind of acts like Azazel. Um, at the same time, gives better buff. I, I, kind, I kind of think it's an A rank. You know, you don't have to uh, kind of agree with me, but I, I honestly think it's an A rank. Uh, but some people disagree you know well, I, I can't help myself all right the um, Gortarion um, it just bypassed it being a trash so Gortarion acts like um, reviving tank um, you're supposed to build him like a pure tank pure attacker so that he receives as much damage as possible so that it dies by a one shot that's all good and all. The problem is I can't make its HP go lower than 100. If it's ideally HP goes lower than 100, it's a fantastic tank. Because nothing will be able to make him fully die. But its problem is that its triggering of the uh, revive is very subjective. Um, uh, very conditional. So you have to use at least have a 3 more AGS. Um, so you need to have AGS team, and then you need to have eight. You need to have HP ninety percent or higher. That's all fine, except that the uh, HP less than ninety percent. Sometimes there's a damage that less than ninety percent because enemy does such a little damage that it just doesn't die by it. Then it's a problem. So it it, it it's kind of iffy. But, you know, a uh, decent unit if you can use it. It's a meme tank. It, it's certainly better than these two trash. But when it works, it's better than these trash. So, it's better than actually any other tank in the freaking game if you can actually make it work. But the condition is just too narrow. Alright. Uh, Rampart is... Um... I would like some people will say it's an A tank. I think it's a B tank. It it has SS. It can do uh, lots of stuff. Like very good at tanking. Uh, very good at um, giving a buff to a one unit underneath it. But other than that, it just nope. Only works as city guard too. So nope. Uh, there are a better tank that covers a better uh, coverage, and then the uh, it just doesn't cover much. Uh, it's a solid unit when you start it because it's very easy to get, it's very easy to produce, and then you can upgrade it more and more. But by the time it gets to SS rank, it only covers one more unit, which, which is completely useless. It might like, gotta cover the bunch of other units to protect it, right? So it's kind of iffy how it protects it. So it only goes a B rank. Like it, it doesn't. It's not good as the stronghold. That's a problem. All right, that's for the older tank unit and the uh, uh, Alfred. Oh Alfred. Oh, I wish Alfred was good. Oh my god. It's... I really want to put it in the trash. I think it belongs to trash. But I'm going to give a B rank. Uh, it's problem uh, with Alfred is that it... 
basically whenever enemy gives you negative buff it makes it into positive and gives to allies to allies the problem is it it you never use it right like the enemy debuff has to be really significant to make to use it to just kill it Otherwise, you don't use it. It just costs another resource in the team, right? And then it buffs based on like a uh, lemonade. Like you know, if it was, uh, if it's the uh, light, it gives certain buff. It, if it's the uh, flying, it gives certain buff. Heavy certain buff. But those buffs are kind of meh-ish. So I mean, it's it's definitely good. It's just that why would I use it? to convert the negative debuff into a buff when you just can't kill it everything before it does do that so it's it's very situational you don't use it on this you need it and that is the certainly a problem in terms of how you can use all right um next one is is it akrane or yeah akrane is a heavy i didn't know that so, it's a heavy support. I think it belongs to B rank. Uh, probably the Akrane is it it, it 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 it's situational. So basically, whenever if in, if defender is in front of the Akrane, it gives self mark into the tank, which is fantastic. But what a cost of another unit you have to make that happen which is just meh right why don't you use a union that have a self mark like con or you know someone with the um miss safety you know just a unit that buffs their tankness instead of doing the uh self mark work buff and then it 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 just doesn't do anything else than that and so that it's very situational and then it only probably useful in some situation and it has to be directly in front of it, her to be get a self mark and then that potentially uh can be area of aoe damage so you need to be really really careful if she doesn't get that uh, damage too so it's kind of b rank it's not that a rank ish but certainly b rank ish all right, next one is Tomioka Trash. I don't know why we have this unit. It it targets single units. It range is very short. Um, it buffs like it it acts like giving an XP to the nearby unit. Buffs that much, but I why why would i use it it's expensive uh, it, there's a far other units that does better than tommy walker right it doesn't do like ridiculous damage or something like that it to support like doctor is way better than this one why don't you use a doctor you know why would you tommy walker I, there are other unit that does better why don't you use leona someone else it just doesn't cut it I, I say totally trash rank. You don't have to make one, basically. Alright, next one is Watcher. It's a flying uh, A rank support. Um, trash. I don't know when was the last time I needed a Watcher. Oh, yeah, I, I, like, I, I can't remember last time I was saying, oh, I need the Watcher. Nope. Nope. I mean, I, I guess in some situational, maybe you can use it. Um, but I don't remember last time I said, like, oh, I definitely need the watchers to do this. Nope. Just use a better other uh, buff unit other than this flying unit. That has to be very conditional as well. So just trash rank. All right. Next one is drone 
trash uh, B rank uh, There's no upgrade uh, Trash Period Alright next one is Eada Which belongs to Nope So she used to be a very good She used to be O Because she's the only one who probably consistently Does the AOE damage that uh, people are using our farming uh, and then people should get Eada for sure because she is the best for farming some resources type uh, mainly farming uh, the uh, pill uh, resource type you definitely should get Eada the reason why she's not making to the O is that she has inherent um, cooldown for her after you, she used second active which makes her not able to use any other skill and vulnerable to damage so she's basically glass cannon you either kill everything one shot or you know it's a it, it breaks and uh, there used to be a gimmick that the uh, leona can dispel the uh, that cooldown uh, feature from the unit but that god has been fixed or removed from the whole feature so she's no longer can consistently just spam either so it's she's definitely good everyone should have it uh, you're as, as a newbie she should be your primary unit trying to get for in terms of the all the um, SS rank you know you should definitely research the uh, EADA pathway and then the side one is are coming from there on your thing so but um, doesn't make to the old uh, now there are a bunch of unit that does better than Eada so she is solid A oh yeah all right. next one is pull on trash uh, B rank no upgrade what can I say trash it's a trash <laughs> it's a trash all right um, uh, same thing for Puppet Trash I can't think of the last time I had to use it Well, there are some time But it's just that uh, There are other better units To use it than Puppet I mean, it's pretty cheap For B rank unit To use if you have nothing else To use for But uh, In the higher rank, higher dungeons You'll never be able to use it properly, uh, the puppet. So, why bother investing on the puppet? And then you can easily get it too. So, you don't need to like go look for it. Like puppet, I believe puppet is droppable. So is a plon. So is a drone. So any B rank, I think it's a droppable. Except the uh, uh, Spartan uh, rampart is droppable. I think. Is it? Yeah, Rampart is a droppable. Puppet is definitely droppable. Uh, uh, the uh, Plon is also... No, okay, actually, Puppet is not droppable. But Puppet is a uh, uh, clear bonus anyway. Plon is droppable, so it's kind of... Uh, meh. Why would you even buy it? Like, bother doing it? So, yeah, trash. Maybe it upgrades more. It might be useful, but no. Yeah, they're all droppable. Alright, that's for the very short uh, AGS tier list, so I mean, go research your own, you don't have to agree with my uh, picks on this one And then I'll try to upload this on the YouTube and then you guys have to decide on your own, you know, which one is better, alright? Alright, alright, now go farm, people <laughs>